What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol. We are back with another video today, straight from Pop Collectibles, guys. Day one pre-orders, if you like that kind of stuff, check them out, link in the description below. I have Short Trooper Grunt. In fact, I have two Short Trooper Grunts. And we'll do a quick comparison between this, the Squad Leader, which was just released a couple weeks ago, and then also the, uh, the Captain. But I don't think that's the main point of the video. The main point of the video is going to be how many of these do you want, if, if it's not one, if it's two, if it's 12, whatever that number is. Um, and how much fun can we have with them in posing? So I've got a little bit of a um, a little bit of a battle going on today for you guys. So I hope you like that kind of stuff. So let's rock and roll. And we're back with another Short Trooper video. It feels like it was just a couple weeks ago when we did the squad leader, and that's because, well, it was. Uh, but it's not much of a shocker that we got the uh, grunt directly after the squad leader, because essentially it's the exact same figure minus a couple, you know, a couple little things which we'll take a look at. So this video... Uh, it's going to be more or less just uh, a quick one. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time. Uh, I did get mine from Pop Collectibles. I actually got two of them. So if you want to check them out uh, for day one releases, uh, link in the description below. Definitely check them out. Uh, because the Short Trooper, honestly, it's one of my favorite troopers. And I know I'm not alone in that. But we've got them all here. We have the original captain in the middle. We've got the squad leader just released on the left. And we got the grunt on the right. We'll just take a quick look at some differences between these. And then we'll get into some posing and have some fun. And uh, see what we can do with these guys. Which is going to be an adventure. Seeing how I just did a video on it. So coming up with different poses is going to be fun, I think. But uh, let's take a look at these three, just the tops of them real quick. Uh, you can see the paint differences, obviously, are, are vastly different between the captain in the middle, the squad leader on the left, and the grunt on the right. The grunt definitely doesn't, doesn't have any blue on him, which some people don't like. Like the, the amount of blue on the captain, most people... Uh, prefer that, um, but not everybody. So it may be your thing. But having some grunts to go in your army is definitely uh, advisable. If you know me, I like the army build things. Uh, so differences are going to be fairly simple. Uh, the weathering on the captain uh, is more. There's more of it uh, than there are on the uh, on the other two, uh, but the differences are are definitely uh, there. Uh, so let's just take a closer look. So the grunt who we're talking about today. I mean, the head sculpts can be exactly, or the helmet's exactly the same, but check a look at the the weathering on the helmet on this guy versus the helmet on this guy. Vastly different in paint application and, and weathering. I mean, very, very big difference. So this, you can see that the grunt is way cleaner and uh, hasn't been through quite as much as the captain, but he does retain uh, the little pouch there on the on the ammo belt or the uh, the belt. So he does retain that from the captain, although this one um, is a little darker. And I, I don't know if that's actually due to just fading over time and because I've had the captain for a while. I'll have to go back and check my original video. Uh, but you see how dark that one is versus this one. Uh, my figures don't have they don't get uh, any sunlight or anything. So I don't think that's due to sun fade. I think it's just just different, I think. Um, you know, one of the, maybe different material. We'll go call it that. Um, but going down, you can see that our grunt wore the brown pants. So, Deadpool reference for you guys. The grunt definitely wore the down, uh, the brown pants as well as the squad leader. So he, he wore that as well. Uh, the uh, the captain is more of a uh, got all like an army olive drab green. Uh, this really is that. Uh, I'm not sure how that's translating in camera, but you can see the difference between them right there. And, uh, you know, they're that. The exact same bodies were used, the same joints, the same everything. Uh, the really paint main difference is it's going to be uh, the paint application. So uh, I don't know how many grunts I'm going to end up with or how many squad leaders currently have one captain, one squad leader, two grunts. And you're only seeing one grunt right here because the other one... Uh, well, he's over here just kind of watching. Jumping in here, just a quick note on range of motion on this guy. I mean, it's exactly the same as the other ones. You got double bend on the elbows. You got double bend on the knees. And uh, you're going to have the normal short trooper problem. Actually, storm, any kind of trooper problem when you have forearm gauntlets like this, where this likes to push off onto the wrist peg and... Uh, they, the, the hands like to pop off, especially if you have like the any bend on it and you've got the blaster rifle on there. The hands like to pop off, uh, so that's a thing. Uh, on this one particular, just like the captain, because he's got these molded 
uh, skirt pieces right here. Uh, they do limit range of motion just a touch going forward and to the side. The squad leader did not have that problem because he didn't have those pieces. He had that uh, fabric uh, comma. Uh, so he didn't have an issue with that. This is kind of interesting. You can actually rotate this shoulder. If you get it right here at the shoulder, I mean, you can get it pretty far freaking high. Uh, so you want to rotate it there. Uh, you just be mindful of it. You don't want to be tearing the undersuit. Uh, you don't want to deal with that. But because the shoulder armor is on an elastic band, you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want uh, with that and plenty of range of motion on twist. Not so much ab crunch. It's got a bunch of armor. We kind of knew about that. Uh, comes with a couple hands. I think I got six hands, two fisted hands, two relaxed hands, and two blaster holding hands. Uh, other than that, uh, there's really not a lot to speak of because he doesn't come with a whole lot. But that's not why we buy troopers. If we want a bunch of accessories, we buy spider people. But I'm going to get back into this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, do so now. Let's get back to the posing. Oh, we've got somebody mysterious lined up with these short troopers. Who knows where we're going to go with this? I have no idea. I'm having fun with this. Because I just recently made a freaking short trooper squad leader video. I was like, we got to do something fun for this. So our short troopers have uh, come across somebody in a cloak of some kind. And uh, let's see who the heck it is and figure out who's going to win this battle. I don't know, but you can comment down below who you think is going to win uh, this battle. We've got all four here. We got two grunts. We got a squad leader and we got a captain. And uh, yeah. So uh, let's just see what's up. Who's it going to be? Who are they fighting? Who is it? Let's see here. It is. Oh, some of you may be able to tell. Some of you may be able to not. By the way, uh, shout out to Brody uh, for hooking me up uh, recently with a 3D printed tray and a cup to go with my short troopers so super excited to have that in here and somehow we'll feature that but i say we're about to get our fight on all right guys we are back and deadpool has dropped his cloak has shot the short trooper captain so he's going backwards our squad leader is in the back who's just shocked he's still got his arm up and somehow deadpool has managed to place a unicorn on the grunch tray, and they are both absolutely confused as to what the heck this is thing supposed to be, and uh, that's what we got going on. So we've got a little, uh, we got a little Mexican standoff going on here between uh, these guys, and it's it's a lot of fun. This this is a. Uh, Anyways, I'm having fun with this. I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of stuff because it takes forever to set up. I would actually to conceptualize, to come up with some some kind of idea and then try and execute it. And sometimes the ideas just suck. So I uh, hope you guys appreciate this by hitting the like button and subscribing if you haven't already done that uh, on a video that honestly, we just saw the squad leader uh, a couple weeks ago. So I'm just trying to have some fun for you guys. So uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, this is what we got going on. These two are absolutely baffled at what the hell this thing is, uh, where uh, Deadpool is doing awesome things. You can see he's got like the one jumping leg. See if I can zoom back in here. He's got his leg out here, uh, supported by, I'm cheating guys, there's a Spider-Man standing there. It's actually holding that cloak up. So anybody's curious as to what the hell I'm doing. Um, but, you know, who's going to win this battle? Who's to say? Who's to say? And uh, let's continue on to have some fun. As the fight continues, we've got Deadpool who is stabbed through the Shore Trooper squad leader. We've got our captain laying on the ground. And our grunts, well, they're, uh, they're the grunts are a little preoccupied, guys. They're, they're a little preoccupied. Uh, this dude's still concerned with his, his lunch tray, and the other guy's like, hey, what the hell is this? Um, that's awesome. Uh, but there's our Deadpool stabbing through our short trooper squad. I thought about using a lightsaber, but honestly, the swords are just, they're just cool. So I hope you guys are liking this. I'm having a lot of fun with this. The short troopers, the grunts, like I said earlier, Extremely similar to the other guys. The difference is the paint. How many of them do you need? I mean, that's a question only you can answer. Uh, the question would be, would I recommend getting one? Uh, either the grunt or the short or the uh, squad leader. And it would be absolutely yes. If you're a Rogue One fan, Mandalorian fan, whatever it is. Uh, and we're definitely going to see short troopers in an upcoming series. So we're, we're going to see more of them. So why not get them now while, um, while they're at retail, right? And, you know, they might make more of them in a different paint 
you know, scheme or whatever. That certainly the way Hot Toys does things. Um, but at the end of the day, you can enjoy them now versus a year from now or a year and a half from now, two years from now, whatever that is. Uh, you can go ahead and enjoy these in your collection now. So, and they're, I mean, price point wise, they're pretty good. They're pretty stinking good. So I would definitely recommend picking some of these up. So I think you guys know who's going to win this battle. Obviously, it's going to be Deadpool. And the fascination between the unicorn on the uh, on the grunts is just there for fun. So I hope you guys like this video. Check out Pop Collectibles if you want to get some day one releases. And as always, click what you like. See you next time.